Hey guys, cheers to celery juice. It's um, it's like one o'clock, maybe one fifteen, quarter past one, and uh, I'm breaking my fast. So if you're trying to get healthy fast, fast. <laughs> That's one option for you. It's it's kind of easy if you can get into rhythm with it. It might not be easy at first. A lot of you might think be thinking like, I need to have some food in the beginning of my day blood sugar issues, all these things. And look, he's like, you gotta find the thing that works for you. I can't tell you exactly what's gonna work for you. But I can tell you that this is really working for me. And what also works for me is like, if I stay busy, if I can stay busy throughout the course of the first part of my day, it's very easy for me to fast. So for example, this morning I was up around 5.30. I was logged on for the Wisdom of the Sages podcast at six o'clock. I was, at Roots by seven to teach my yin class. I had a coffee date. Black coffee, black coffee or tea. I mean, tea without basically cream or sugar in it can help to extend your fast. Like the, the caffeine really, I find suppresses my appetite. So I got through that coffee. I had to walk dogs. I got back to my place. I did a workout video and now here I am breaking my fast. So after the celery juice, I'll probably wait 30, 30 minutes or so. And then I've got a little, pack lunch because I'm going to help a friend move and do a U-Haul sort of thing. So what have I got in here? I've got two hard boiled eggs. Ta-da! Just so you, you believe me. I've got a peach. And I've also got some um, sunflower seeds and raisins just as like a little backup in case I get snacky or hungry. So if you're curious about fasting and you want to strategize, use the link below to book a strategy session with me and I'll get you set up on a plan that works for you.